What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. Thank you for joining us and uh, consider joining the family. If you haven't already on this channel, we talk sneakers and sneakers only. And uh, today I'm excited. We got a pretty cool pair of sneakers in today and it's taking you all the way back to 1977. And this pair in particular has some material upgrades as well as a pretty cool aesthetic, especially considering, you know, July 4th and things that are coming up in the near future here. Today, we are talking about the Nike Blazer Mid 77s with these really nice red and blue swooshes on both sides. Let's take a closer look. All right, guys, now for those of you that are familiar with blazers, this is pretty much structurally the same blazer as what you would get in any other release. However, I think the most notable element of this release here, aside from the red and blue swooshes on both sides of the shoe, is that you are getting an all leather upper. So in the previous or other release blazers that we have, you're seeing hits here and along the heel have suede on them, which is still a leather, but this has a very clean, very nice tumbled look on it. And I really like this leather. It's actually a nice quality feeling leather. It's got, especially around the heel here, feels really nice and smooth. And it feels like it's gonna be a nice durable leather. You know, probably along the same lines of a Jordan 1. Uh, maybe this one in particular just feels a little bit nicer than some of the other Jordan 1s, but it's kind of in that same vein. And I think it gives it a very more streamlined and cleaner look. And I'm really into it with the white midsole as well. And you still get a lot of the classic blazer elements. Of course, you have the black Nike stamped on the back here. You have the deconstructed tongue along the top as well. So all those elements are still there, but it's just a nice upgrade in materials for this particular release. And let's talk about the main star of this you know, show here, and that is the swooshes. So you see on the lateral side here, you've got the blue reptile print swoosh going along, and it matches up with the back of the heel here. And then on the other side, you see red. And on the medial side, we have red reptile leather, or actually it's not a leather swoosh, it's probably some kind of just synthetic leather material that's stamped with the reptile print. And there's a little bit of contrasting color within both of the swooshes, a little bit of darkening uh, blackish scales on the red side and the blue side as well. Kind of gives it a little more dimension, not just like a straight up uh, monochrome looking swoosh. And I, I think it looks great. It reminds me of one of my favorite uh, summer Jordans of all time, the 11 low snake skins, especially in the royal blue colorway. So I'm a big fan of snake skin print on sneakers, especially because of those Jordans kind of made me fall in love with that. So I was immediately attracted to this one as well. Now, as far as the midsole goes, it's that nice chunky midsole and you got the little stars that are repeated all over it. And it's not any kind of groundbreaking comfort or feel. It's essentially the same midsole you get in like Air Force Ones and things like that. Um, I don't believe there's any type of air bubble in these at all. I mean, it didn't feel like it at least. So it would be actually pretty interesting to have a Blazer Zoom Air integration. I think that would be something to look out for. Now talking about the fit of this sneaker, it's important to remember that this is pretty much a close representation of the way the shoe was built in 1977. At least I'm pretty sure that is the case. And as we saw with the Jordan 1 High 85s that dropped in that ridiculously grail worthy uh, two pack with the Air Ships, those Jordan 1 High 85s were narrow. And these are also narrow. That's just the way they were cutting the shoes back then. And typically, you know, retro things, especially retro sizing, is a little bit smaller than what we have today. So you'll see in the on foot looks that I have these shoes laced pretty loosely, and that's on purpose. That's probably going to be the only way that I'm gonna rock these. It's gonna be very loose, very comfortable, because I can feel, even with the shoes laced that loosely, that the sole is pretty narrow. And on my foot, which is a little bit wider, I'm not gonna be getting a lot of uh, comfort out of these things being laced tightly. So that's something to consider. If you have a little bit of a flatter, wider foot, this is probably gonna be a shoe that you're gonna have to lace pretty loosely. And if you like to have a tighter lace with the big bunny ear loops, I mean, you could probably do it, do it to some extent, but it might not be comfortable on your foot for very long. As far as length goes, my foot was pretty comfortable. I mean, I had room. So I, I can't say that you would wanna really size up because 
even though you're getting a little bit of a wider sole, it might be just too long in the toe box or you might be too just separated from the heel. So overall guys, I am really digging this pair of blazers in particular. I mean, there's been some nice ones that have come out in recent years. The uh, the white black blazers that just dropped recently were fire. I mean, obviously the off-white blazers were pretty sweet as well. Um, these are much easier to get at a much nicer price point, especially for the materials that you are getting. This all white leather upper, you're getting better than the regular laces too. You're getting some nice woven uh, knit laces on here that just feel a lot better than laces you'll get typically on other sneakers, as well as some bronze tips on the end of the laces as well. All in all, it's a shoe that's well worth the retail price. So if you can still get it around that retail price, that's fantastic. Last time I looked on StockX as a reference point, these were pretty much in that $185 to $200 price range in this size 12. And obviously that's gonna change depending on what size you're looking at. But to me, I think this punches above its weight in terms of quality and finish versus the retail price. And for $185 for a shoe like this, I mean, I think this is a better looking option than some of those designer white leather sneakers that cost $250, $300, $400. I think it just looks nicer. It's got the cool retro vibes. Of course, nothing looks as good as the swoosh, in my opinion, on a plain white pair of sneakers. So I would definitely go for this over some of those higher end options because be careful with some of those as well. There's plenty of videos on YouTube talking about how those things really aren't worth the price points that they're commanding at retail. This for 120 bucks or 110 bucks, whatever it is, was a steal in my opinion. That is it for me guys on this video of the Nike Mid Blazers 77s in this red and blue colorway. The all white leather construction, the reptile print on the swooshes all comes together to make a very dope summer sneaker. And if you like it, try to get your hands on it right now via StockX, eBay and all that before prices go up. I mean, prices might come down, but I don't know. It sold out pretty quick, so you might want to get a move on and lock yourself in a pair sooner than later, especially because we're already going to be in July soon, which is crazy. But, you know, the, the year has flown by and July is coming up. August is going to happen before you know it. It's going to be fall. And this is definitely a summer sneaker, in my opinion. But let me know down in the comments what you think of this sneaker. And let me know if you got a pair. Let me know if you like blazers, what you wear your blazers with. I think joggers jeans is perfect for these and definitely some shorts even though they're high top i think you can pull it off with the right pair of shorts and yeah it's a summer staple sneaker that in my opinion i would go for over the air force one so yeah let me know what you think about that down in the comments below consider hitting the like and subscribe and i got the sky forces coming up next never owned a pair of sky forces in my life they've got a similar aesthetic to this one i'm excited to get into that and try those out so keep it locked hit the like hit the subscribe hit the bell so you're notified when that video drops and every new video drops and i appreciate your time guys i respond to all the comments and i appreciate your likes really it means a lot to me we just passed a thousand subscribers and the, the goal now has to be what ten thousand i mean let's just add a zero and when we get to ten thousand we're going to add another zero and i hope you will join me along for the ride so that being said, I hope you have a good day, good evening, good night, whenever you are watching this, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.